Welcome everyone to another tutorial uh, by Inkspit Designs. I'm Jason. Today we're going to talk about vinyl decals and actually take you through the entire process of creating a vinyl decal, right up you know, all the way from the concept of it to the design and right on through to actually cutting it out on a vinyl uh, cutting machine, a, a vinyl plotter. So some of the equipment you might have might be different, but the same kind of concepts will apply. So let's jump right in here into Illustrator and we're going to grab the text tool, we're going to put some text down uh, and let's enlarge that, grab the selection tool and we're going to hold the shift key to enlarge this, keep it in perspective uh, keep the proportions right and we're actually going to duplicate this by holding down the alt key on a PC or the option key on a Mac drag straight down let's change this word Oop. Okay shrink this uh, by holding the shift key again match it up under our other word okay so we've got our text there um, let's actually add a, a graphic we're gonna add this ink splatter that we have here um, let's give it a well, let's give it a red color just so that we can see it for now we're actually gonna change the final color let's enlarge it uh, bring it up to a pretty good size um, so that we can see the entire ink splatter around all of the, the text. That looks good. Let's uh, bring all this into the center of the canvas. Okay. Now as you can see the graphic is over the text and we don't want that. We actually want it sitting behind. So we're going to come over here to the layers panel and we're going to create a new layer, put it below the one we're working on and with that graphic selected you can see this little uh, blue large pixel here. Basically we drag that down and that will put it on the layer below. So now as we can see the graphic is sitting below the text which is what we want. Okay let's select these two pieces of text. We're actually going to turn them into outlines. Right click on them, choose create outlines. And we want to add a, a border around these um, so that we can actually have that, that cut out so you can uh, see the difference between the graphic and the text. So come over to the appearance panel. We're going to add a fill. You can see our black fill there. Let's add a, a second fill here and let's change it to a let's change it to a green color. And we don't see anything yet because that is sitting directly below the black fill and the text. But if once we go to the uh, effects menu here and go up to path and offset path we're going to choose Round and we see it there and that's actually a, a lot larger effect than what we want so let's hit the down arrow key until we get what we like um, we want this to be a pretty small effect um, maybe right there let's go with that now as you can see the text is selected um, but we can't we aren't able to select that that second um, that border that we just created so if, with the text selected let's actually go up here to the object menu and go to expand appearance and that expands everything. Now if you notice here if you can see um, when we zoom in with everything selected uh, these paths are actually crossing over each other and you can really see it in outline mode. You see where the, the lines are come and they, and they cross over each other um, and this actually this other line is the, the graphic so everything's crossing each other and that doesn't work very well for cutting it out on a vinyl cutter these are the actual lines that are going to be cut so what we want to do is we want to go back out we want to um, choose the text here and we want to go into the pathfinder and the command we're going to use is the merge command so once we choose that everything that is a light the same colors actually merges with each other so now if we look at this in outline mode, uh, let's actually turn off this uh, the ink splatter graphic for now. We can see that everything merged there, so those lines are no longer uh, crossing over each other, which is what we want. Okay, so now let's bring back that ink splatter graphic. Let's make sure everything's aligned. Let's select everything, go to the align panel, and horizontally align it so we have it lined up. All right, and now we're going to do the same thing actually because if we look again in outline mode uh, you can see this these lines running all through the text of the, the ink splatter and so we're going to select everything and go back over to the pathfinder uh, 
Pathfinder tool here and we're going to choose merge again. And now if we look at it, those lines, those paths that were cutting through all the text are actually gone. It, it merged those, uh, those things together, which is the effect or the desired result that we want. Okay, now let's get in a little bit tighter and we're actually going to select just this border um, that we created, the green border. And I can select just a portion of that and actually go up to the select menu, choose same and go to fill color. That will select everything that is that green color on the canvas and then just hit the delete key. And actually what that does is completely delete that color. It's not just, you're not able to see it, but it's actually gone. And the way we can test that is if we go to the layers, layers panel, create another layer, put it all the way at the bottom of the stack. Let's choose a, a rectangle here. And if we actually draw a rectangle, we can see that it is below the, the text as well as the ink splatter. And we can actually see the green color through uh, the portion that's cut out the outline that's cut out all around the text. Um, and if we change that, we can tell that it's truly cut out because we get any color that we change it to. Okay. So now we have everything cut the way we want. Now if you can look in here and you can see some pieces if some things are kind of wonky a little bit. Uh, some pieces that you might want to take out. Maybe they don't fit. So let's maybe I, I might take out that um, that color and again, so you see some things here that are going to show up in outline mode that you might not see in, uh, in the regular mode because they're a white color, they're not selected. So make sure you check all of that and, and the outline mode is a great way to do that. I'm going to select that and delete that because everything that you can see here is going to cut the exact way that you see it. So make sure uh, it's how you want it. You know, take out these little pieces that don't look like they fit. Just do it to taste, do it to what you think uh, looks good. Um, and then actually, we're gonna, finally, we're going to end up, uh, let me select that red on the graphic and actually go to select, same, and choose fill color again. The red is entirely selected, and we're going to choose a black because this is, we're actually going to cut it out in a black uh, vinyl. So this is how it's going to ultimately look. All right, and there you have it. There's a portion of, uh, or the, the part of the graphic that you've actually designed that we're going to actually cut out. So we'll head to that step next. Okay, so now that we have our design all ready to go, um, we're actually going to send it to the the vinyl cutter, and this is a part that will be different for you know many of you and different depending on the cutter you use, the software, all those kinds of things. So we are actually using a GraphTech CE 5060, and uh, GraphTech puts out a free plugin that works with Illustrator. So we actually have the the text selected. We go up to the file menu, and Cutting Master 3 is the actual plugin that they put out. So this won't show up in Illustrator natively. But if you have the plugin installed from GraphTech, um, you'll see this. And then you just choose Send to Cutting Master 3. So whatever software you have, um, just send it to the software, the actual, uh, whether it's third-party software or something that integrates uh, with Illustrator. And now we see it showing up here in the, the actual cut program. Um, we can change the rotation on this. And so this square that we're looking at represents, or this white canvas represents, the actual width of the vinyl that we have room to cut on, which in this case is 13 inches wide. Um, lots of different options here to, you know, fit, change the size. You can actually change um, all kinds of things, dimensions, uh, mirroring, those type of things. Um, we're going to add a weed border to this, which is basically the software tells the cutter to cut a border around, an extra border around the graphic, so it just makes it easier when you're pulling out the excess uh, vinyl. And we'll, we'll be looking at that um, in the final product. Um, so we're going to add one of those, and you can actually here um, make as many copies as you want. So here if I um, choose, I can be adding you know, however many rows, however many columns. Let's go ahead and do two. Looks like two will fit nicely on this. Uh, this piece here. And that is pretty much it. That's all we need to do in this case. Uh, if we see here our cutter is ready to go and all we do is click send and it will uh, head over to the, the cutter and start cutting the vinyl graphic. So now as you can see the, the cutter, the vinyl cutter is actually cutting out the graphic that we designed. Uh, it works just like a printer. Instead of there being a print head that ink is coming out of, it's actually a, a small little uh, knife 
in that the head on the, the vinyl cutter and it's actually tracing and cutting out all those lines that we created in Illustrator uh, to create our graphic and then next we'll go ahead and weed out the extra vinyl uh, which is taking out all the excess vinyl that we don't need to uh, have our graphic and then we'll have it to put on something and we'll take you through that process next okay so we're gonna weed this graphic which is to pull out uh, the excess vinyl that we cut and just start from an end basically and go kind of slow because you don't want to pull out any of the small pieces and I'll just keep an eye on where everything is use your tool to your weeding tool to kind of guide things if some things are kind of sticking And obviously the smaller you cut the graphic, the harder this will be and little pieces will happen. So you, got, you can't cut things too small um, depending on, you got to keep that in mind when you're designing it, what size you're going to cut it out. Get that little piece pull up, I'm just going to keep it down. Same thing there with part of the ink spot. All right, and then you just pull out the, the center portions of some of these letters, the center pieces that didn't come out. that we got it all. So that's how it's going to look after you've weeded it and uh, we'll go ahead and add the topper to that so that we can place it on our, uh, on our surface. Okay, now that we have everything uh, weeded, we can see the graphic there, all the excess uh, vinyl is, is taken off and it's all ready to go. We can add it to the application tape we have laid out here. Uh, the transfer tape. We actually just lay it down just like so, making sure there's no creases or wrinkles in it. Uh, we're going to use this uh, scraper. We're going to start from the middle and scrape it so that it's completely smooth. There's no bubbles. And then once we have that, we just take our scissors. Obviously, cut along the edge uh, and trim it. And I'll actually cut them in half so they're ready to go and easy to use. And once we've done that, there's uh, both of the decals all ready to go, application tape on them, and uh, ready for sale, ready to. Uh, to give to somebody or to stick on something, whether it's a car or uh, a wall or a piece of wood, metal, anything, any surface these will go on. So, thanks for being with us today um, for this tutorial on how to create a vinyl decal uh, from the very start to the finish, to the finished product. Uh, check out our YouTube page and subscribe and check us out at inkspit.com.